Happy, <coughs> yeah, that. Uh huh. Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. We are back and better than ever, are we not, Trent? Nope. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, well, yeah we're good. We're doing well. We're good. I just had a little something caught up in my throat, just a touch. It happens once in a while. Every now and then, before we film, uh, he'll eat, and then I'll get a text saying, oh, oops, I just ate. And then he's just hacking and coughing the whole video, and then he gets irritated at himself, but he did it to himself, you know? Well, we are recording four videos this evening, so it was imperative that I had a little bit of dinner before I started drinking any whiskey of any sort. Lance's pretzels, man, what are you doing? <laughs> I cannot I cannot have two or three pretzel rods and call it good and start drinking whiskey. Oh, that's, whiskey. A, that's a shame. That's a it's shame. A, that's a big no-can-do. A couple sips, sure. Four videos, probably not. Well, today's a good one, and I, I still don't know the whole premise because you yeah. kind of came up with it. You just told me to pick two things, and I did. Yeah, well, that's cool because it's kind of a challenge of sorts, and I thought it'd be fun. You know how I am, everybody. I like to pick things off the shelf that are, you know, somewhat budget-friendly that I think are really good. And so I have two bottles that I, that I feel like are very budget-friendly. I think they can be found, okay, so I, I, there, I shouldn't have actually said I shouldn't have said pull it right off the shelf because, you know, with a little, with a little. Let's start over. <laughs> I thought it was going good. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone! We are back and better than ever, and I've got a great video plan for you today. Trenton's really excited about it. He's all amped up about it. All I know is I have like a, I have a 50/50 stake in whatever whatever we're doing down <laughs> yeah. here. I yeah. was told to pick two bottles, and that's kind of the only info that I was given. No, that's not the only info. The you were well, the giving. price, the price of the bottles. That's about it. Sure. Well, what I what I told him, I you know how I am, folks. I, I like more budget friendly bottles that are good. You know that kind of that kind of excites me. I know when I find something that's a relatively lower price point. That's really good. I think that's fantastic. So I picked two, two bottles that I didn't pay a whole lot for that I think were very good. Now, I, I did tell him, all the chips on the table here, I did tell him they're a little bit higher in proof. I can tell one was 110 proof and one's 125 proof, so you know. Okay. So I asked him if he would go find a couple bottles that are in that 80 to to $100 category, but not, not over 100 bucks. But are a little bit higher in proof as well. And we'll see what comes out on top here. Well, I must not have been listening because I thought you were selecting two that were also like a similar proof point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what I'm do you, still, what I'm, do you got? Well, I got I got two that are higher price, higher like 60 to 80. That's fine. Like you said. So yours are That's not fine. that? No. Okay. Mine's, I mine's one's 25 bucks and one's 40 or okay. 35. I heard 25 the, and 35. I heard the objective yeah. and everything after that was just nonsense. <laughs> That's, isn't that, honey, this is about similar for trend. You know, a little bit comes out of your mouth and the rest, the rest of it's just like the old Peanuts cartoon. And, wah, 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 and he's in his own world. I have not even seen that, so I can't relate. <laughs> is that the dude that smells like he's got the little nasty things coming off of him? Yes. Okay, who yeah. is that? Who was that, honey? He had, Linus. He had, smelly no, boy? Linus wasn't smelly, though. No, oh, it wasn't smelly. Yeah, the one that, that walks around and has smell and stuff coming. He's... That's Anyways, right. we got we got Charlie Brown, right? You got Linus and the stinky guy. How about that? Who's Linus? <laughs> I need to watch that. I've never. Seen, the only time I've ever seen Charlie Brown was during second grade, uh, during some kind of uh, yeah. Christmas thing, and it was Charlie Brown's Christmas. But I don't remember anything about it. And honey, why don't we watch Charlie Brown Christmas at Christmas anymore? We usually watch other things, that, and Charlie Brown never makes the circuit. Twenty four seven Christmas Story Channel, baby. I got to get in on some Charlie Brown this year. It's gonna happen. Well, um, well, you're gonna get toasted regardless, because I mean, we'll I, I picked some really solid ones. I'm we'll interested see. to see what you got going on. I'm, but I'm pretty confident as well. And I don't know if both of mine will come out number one, number two, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit surprising. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, let's get it. Oh, oh this is bad. Good. Not good. This is horrible. Did you pick this? No, I think you did. This smells budget. I hope, I hope I'm not wrong. I actually don't remember which ones I picked. I remember, well, I remember one of them. I don't remember the other one. You're nutty, dude. It doesn't have a whole lot going on on the nose, whatever it is. No, no, I'm serious. 
All right, it is, it is a little bit muted, but I think it's sweet. I think it's soft. It's cardboardy. It's not cardboardy. No, it's not. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hope this is one you picked. <laughs> I think you, I think you feel that already, and you're ripping it to shreds. That's what I think. You know, on your head, what two you picked, and that's probably not one of them. And you're just gonna just slam it. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny that. But I'm no, but really, I, I don't get a whole lot going on in the nose. It's a little bit on the darker side. It's a little bit um, craft papery. I get a little bit of a sharpie note, but there is some nice oak. And there is a little bit of this like. Tea kind of a thing going on. It's, okay, it's I, I can go with a little bit of a tea thing. There is a tiny bit of caramel in there for me. I can also, I can, I can get a grain. I can get what you're saying with a little bit of possibly grain, but I think it's a, it's, it's a nice grain note. You put any turkey in here? To me, this is like a, a, a sour oak, but in a way, in a way that I actually like quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's like an oak sour patch kid. It's got a little bit of this nice sweetness. It's it's more on the confectionery side. Yeah. It's not super. Yeah. It's not super complex, but it's 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 like rich. I, lo I love that note. That's the first time I think I've ever heard you use that one, and I've heard you use like a thousand. <laughs> Which of one? Them. An oak sour patch kid. Yeah, it's kind of like that because it is sour, it's but it's a little it bit is. tart. He, he's not lying. I can see where he came up with a wild turkey. You know resemblance yeah. because it does give you a little bit of sweet and sour right in the right when you're sipping on it mm -hmm. i almost like i get a similar note when i have a everything like an everything bagel like there's a, there's quite yeah. a bit going on there's some bread i was just gonna say baking spice in there too not deep and dark baking spice but there's there's some nice baking spice notes in there too Interesting. So it's, it's a little bit soft on a palate. I think it's a little bit, I think it's kind of tasty. I roasted it a bit on the nose, but it's actually not too bad. Yeah. It was a little muted on the nose, so I, I can't deny that. Well, I don't know what you picked. Um, I remember one of what I picked, but okay. I didn't pick Buffalo Trace, and the nose on this reminds me of Buffalo Trace quite a bit. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you I didn't pick Buffalo Trace, nor did I pick Wild Turkey. So, that's there you go. weird. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really nice though. This is good. Oof, this is brown sugar heaven. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. That's a nice little toasty brown sugar note going on in there. I get like a toasted pine nut. <laughs> or something. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I like a little toasty nuttiness. Yeah, I can go with that. I kind you of were getting ready to rip me to shreds. I was going to laugh at you again because, you know, 75% of the time you come up with stuff that I don't even know what you're talking about. But I can get a little toasty nuttiness. I think that's good. Man, this is the tough one. Like, there's, it's complex and there's yeah. a lot going on, but I can't yeah. I can't definitively pick up what I'm, yeah. what I'm actually smelling. Yeah, I'm good. A little toasty nuttiness, a little brown sugar, somewhat sweet. Good enough for me. I want, to, I want to sit down with this for a while and figure out what the heck's going on, because this is different. Mm. Oh, sweet, sweet Jesus. That's really good. <laughs> Woo! What the heck is that? It's a tiny bit proofier than the first taste. Yeah, absolutely. But it is delightful. Everything that I said on the nose came through on the palate, along with a really nice barrel note there somehow, maybe a little char, possible light, mm -hmm. char, light char, with a molasses note in there too to give us some depth on the sweetness. Yeah, honey, this was good. I'm getting a little bit of a, like a, a chocolate, or some kind of a, like a cocoa nib or something. It's a little bit more on the dark bitter chocolate. side. Dark it's chocolate? A, a, yeah, it's a little bit dark. But too, it's almost like a, it's not raisiny. But it reminds me of a chalk, like a dark chocolate covered something. Yeah, I like it, man. That's good. Whatever it is, is good. That's solid. All right, we're gonna move on. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's different. What is that? I don't know. That's, I wanted to say mocha right off the front. So did I. But I don't know if that's accurate. 
it really like okay this is going to be kind of a weird note but not in a like a stupid way it it's it reminds me of when you're like outside when it like first like in the spring mm -hmm. and you get some like a bunch of it's like a nice crisp air kind of mm -hmm. a thing that's what's going mm -hmm. on in this yeah i it's not deep I still get, I think I'm getting a mocha. I, like get, I, really I honestly get milk, chocolate, and mocha. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with that. At first, I was wondering if I was on base, but I think so. I get a weird fruit vibe, like a guava or something that's like kind of more ex on the exotic side. Something that you're mm -hmm. not going to go to your local Walmart and pick up all your Sure. Bound. Like maybe a seasonal type of a thing. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Tarnation. I, what did you pick? I don't remember anything that I picked tasting like that. Interesting. Wow. Right in the front of the palate, I truly was getting that, what Trent was saying, that exotic fruit type notes. But then it turned in this completely different mid to back end. It's got this really weird hay or like a, a freshly cut grass or, or some kind of <laughs> some kind of plant uh, vibe going on to it that I think is like it's it's strange but it makes it interesting mm -hmm. like this is a really unique kind of a thing mm -hmm. that I do like quite mm -hmm. a bit unique and I think Trenton has gravitated a little bit to this because there's a, a slight bitterness to it and not in a bad way and he kind of he, he tends to choose, like he would go on the trip we did to Georgia. We go out to a bar or something. He, If he gets a cocktail, he likes a Campari base or something like that with some bitterness yeah, in there, I too. Yeah, like a good bitter cocktail. And this was like a, a, a nice bitterness that truly adds to the depth of the sip for me. It reminds me of a latex glove. Like a flavored latex glove. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's got there, this glove. Is there anything like that, honey? Flavored latex glove. It's got glove. this glovey gloviness to it, but it's also kind of more uh, artif like an artificial type of a, of a flavor mm -hmm. to it. But I still get this exotic eat fruit, which is interesting. That's huh. wild. Okay. Last but not least. That was a wild ride. That, that is was. a wild ride. All right, D. Now that's confusing too. <laughs> Are you... Well, okay, I gotta ask you without like giving away too many details. Did you go with like some off the wall stuff? Did I? Yeah. No. No. Well, I never know what you buy with a with a budget type of a thing. <laughs> and I will say, usually budget more budget type bottles, depending on if it's a craft versus mm -hmm. a I guess a, a kind of a more mainstream slash uh, upscale distillery. Mm -hmm. Sometimes have a craftiness that isn't usually sure. present in a lot of other stuff. That's like, yeah. you're not going to find some of these profiles in like a Jim Beam or a Maker's Mark or a Buffalo Trace or anything. It's right. just really off the wall, mm -hmm. and I like it. It makes yeah. it interesting. This to me smells like a, an eraser tip of a pencil. I was going to say it reminds me of being in like the like that. Uh, I was in a combine at one point a couple uh, <laughs> last year. We went to. Uh, JT Mellick. I was in a, it was a, I was in a combine, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the cockpit of that combine. It's kind of <laughs> giving me vibes of what I'm smelling here. I didn't get to drive it, but maybe, maybe huh. next time if we go. Oh, please don't let him do that. I have insurance. Whoa, this tastes like sour toast. <laughs> what did you do? Did you pick some knucklehead bottles for me just to put it to me? Do you get a sour toast? What'd you do? I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> did you get a sour toast from this? What is what is sour about this? Hmm. Wow. It's it's herbal and it has a like a seedy mm -hmm. yeah, herbal. To, it's not a it's not a herbal for sure. It's not nutty, it's it's like oh. a seedy, like a sunflower seed mm -hmm. type of a thing. Yeah. Pine nut. Cell like celery, caraway, like that kind of family mm -hmm. of, of flavors. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely. Maybe a little nutmeg. Huh. I get quite a bit wow. of nutmeg from that, actually. Yes. Well, that's all. I 
good on him, man. I was struggling a little bit, to be honest with you, to come up with some. I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. But on the other hand, I was struggling to try to get specific. But I really love what you said there, the seedy, you know, kind of seeds. Husk, husky. Mm -hmm. the, I will say, we, we do a blind oh. once a week. This has been like, I think, one of my more favorite ones. Just because I know what I picked, I have no idea what you picked. But even with this lineup, I don't know which one is could even be close to what I picked. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be kind of tough to score, in all honesty. Right, I agree. And we That's have a we have one video left, and I still have to I have to drink more to figure out which one I want. A was just weird. Weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. Hmm. <laughs> that actually a a didn't score real well for me first time through, but mm -hmm. it kind of kind of notched up the ladder. Just touched it. It, it was pretty Second high set. for me the first time around. It was it was different. Mm -hmm. It kind of went a notch below the second time. Okay, which is interesting. On this on this next go around, C is smelling way different than I have it down for the first time. And by I have it down, I mean I didn't write down anything for C. Get a slight peanut butter now on C. This one, yeah. It's like I, I know of something that reminds me of this, but I just can't put my, my finger on it quite. I don't know, babe. You know, they're all pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to push out C first. Shame. I don't know. I, and, and there's no real reason why. It's just at this moment I'm, I'm enjoying that one the least of the three that are remaining. That's all. I don't really have any major knocks against it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to push out D for my first. Wow. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised by that. Hmm. Now here's the tough part, A and C for me. A just smells like it has a little bit more, it's like a something going on to it. But, oh man. There's a lot of, there's a lot of dead air on this one. I apologize. I mean, usually I, we're going back and forth quite a bit. This I'm, is, this I'm perplexed. Is, so am I. I, I am, I'm sincerely going back and forth on A and D. And I'm just gonna press out A, honey, next. Unfortunately, I, and, and I'm, I'm flipping a coin. Flipping a coin on that one, and I'm gonna put, then honey, I'm gonna put uh, D in second, and B will be my first place today. I'm gonna write it down, because I didn't before. So it was my last, first one out was C, wasn't it, honey? For me? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> what was the next one? A. A, thank you. Okay, gotcha, I got it for you, all right. Well, Mom. What do you got, buddy? Uh, D is my fourth place. Uh, a is my third place. Uh, C is my second place. And huh. A is my first place. Wow, really? A is your first place? Yeah. I am. No, A is not his first. No, sorry, B is my first. I was going to say, yeah, I B am is my first. shocked. No, no, no. Shocked. Yeah, A was my third. Yeah, A or C, uh, B. B. These were all really unique. Very unique. And I do I wonderful tasting. I enjoyed it. I really did. This was kind of fun. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, we should do it more often. You know, we we can pick out different price points or you yeah. know, whatever. Let us know in the different types. Oh, you can do it. Oh, thanks. Because your fourth place. Money, my fourth place was C. Was my second place. That was the one we had the, the yeah. most disparity yeah, yeah. with. So Oh. You didn't. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I put James E. Pepper in last place. How could you do that to Pepper? That's what I, old Pep. I'm sorry, James. 
My bad. It's actually, I, like I said, all these were pretty darn good. I can't believe I did that. Here's third. Oh, no. Ooh. Rebel Small Batch Reserve. This is the one I got. It was 110 proof. I, I'm seeing it around now in stores. I'm seeing it again More. in stores. This is my third okay. also. And it's uh, 35 bucks. Okay. You, you, go with me on this. You can't beat it for 35 bucks. No. no. $35. No. No, come on. Not a chance. Oh, that was my second. Well, that's a big shame. Which one was that? Trader Joe's. Which number? Trader Joe's. So my second would have been D. And that was your last. Oh, troll you trader. You've got to be kidding. You, oh. put, you put trader in last place? That's, How could I do that? That's a good bottle. My buddy Justin came and or he got this for me. And you can see this. You can find this once in a while at Trader Joe's. 125 proof. Well, I thought it was shame. good. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jerk. Are you gonna take this? Or he you screwed, gonna be he screwed my brains out. Is what he did. Here, why don't you tell the folks what you picked? Um, <laughs> I I have been gravitating a lot towards oh. more unique stuff this year, and I think JT Malik is one of the ones that we we've talked about a couple times, but I think deserves a little bit more recognition than they get. Uh, this is a rice whiskey, uh, which makes it very unique, and I don't know how they get the flavors that they do in this kind of stuff. Um, granted, this is our pick, but um, I have not, I think I have three or four different JT Malik picks and they're all very different, but I haven't had one that really hasn't kind of taken me back and make me think, what the heck am I actually drinking? I didn't want to go overboard when we were tasting, but, but glass B, honey, was head and shoulders better than the rest of them. And I know I didn't pick that. I know I knew that flavor profile wasn't the bottles that I have here in the, you know, the lower echelon of the price points, and and of course, he, he screwed me basically is what he did. So, Melick though, you, you, J T Melick, you know, my buddy Jonathan lives in Texas, hooked us up on our very first bottle, their shelf bottle, you know, their their regular release. Even that, you could have put that bottle in with the I rest thought of about these, it. I did, think and about I think it. it would win. I thought about I it. I really do. I was now, you put their cast strength up against it? I mean, that's just, that's well, just you, silly. You silly told, talk. This is 122.5 proof. You, you were talking to me about the proof points mm -hmm. that you put in there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. As soon as you said 125, I should have thought benchmark full proof for Trader Joe's. But I didn't. But I was like, I got to do something that's up there, too. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw this on the shelf, I was like, I got to do that. That's going to be different. And well, this obviously. is different, too. Yeah. But obviously. This was, this was actually a good idea. This was fun. <laughs> this was really fun. Well, you kind of... I can't say you cheated. No. But but however, no. you kind of, you know, you, you were just outside the lines of touch there, big fella. How? You just were. You're just mad that I won. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he'll have his up and comings here pretty soon. Um, if you enjoyed this type of a, a 2v2 kind of thing, let us know in the comments. <laughs> let us know what you want to see in the next one. Um, we've said this before, we do our videos the day before. Mm -hmm. So if, if we see a cool comment of a suggestion that we want to do, we'd be more than happy to put it in our next yeah. one. So make sure to leave a comment yep. about your thoughts and uh, what you want to see next time. Yeah, this, absolutely. Was, this was cool. Absolutely. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time right down here with Trent and me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.